Welcome to Nursing Success TV, where we share stories and ideas to help you chart your future. This month, we start with a big cheers to the nation's nurses. For the 12th year in a row, you've been ranked as America's most trusted professionals in Gallup's annual poll. Share your own congratulations and thoughts on this honor by clicking the Share Your Comments banner below. Coming up on Nursing Success TV, Dr. Phyllis has advice to a nurse seeking new career challenges. Nurse entrepreneur Elizabeth Scala shares a special learning event. And nurse manager Patty Spuma discusses her career advancement. Ask Dr. Phyllis is brought to you by New York Presbyterian Hospital. Amazing things are happening here. Today's question for Dr. Phyllis comes from Alice in Missouri, who has a Master's of Science in Nursing. She writes, I just celebrated 18 years as a nurse and have had my graduate degree in nursing education for 11 years. I've had staff nurse and middle management positions in both med surge and progressive care units. Lately, I've been feeling restless. I want to venture out into something very different and challenging, perhaps even starting my own business. What do you see as the next big thing in nursing? Alice, I would first recommend you to the Institute of Medicine's report on the future of nursing that was published back in 2010. It contains invaluable information as to the direction our profession needs to take going into the 21st century. Starting your own business is a huge step and it requires a real change in mindset. You cannot be a nurse who happens to be in business. You have to switch it up. You're going to be a businesswoman who happens to be a nurse. I'd like you to treat entrepreneurism as your new specialty, which means that you're going to have to study. You're going to have to learn how to develop a business plan, marketing strategies. You're going to have to deal with bankers and decide whether you're going to incorporate or not. And if you are going to incorporate, what type of corporation is best for you. With your background, you may do very well as a legal nurse consultant. Now, this does not require any special preparation or training, but you do need at least 10 years of experience, a baccalaureate degree, and one clinical certification in order to be taken seriously as an expert. You must be fluent in the standards of care that you're going to be an expert in. And you must be able to read and decipher a medical record. If you're uncertain about leaping into the entrepreneurial venue, you may want to consider some of the other areas that are emerging. Some are conventional, but some are brand new. Infection prevention, care management, informatics, quality management. You may even want to try your hand at going into the business world and affiliating with a pharmaceutical company or a durable medical equipment firm. Whatever you decide, remember, nursing has prepared you for whatever you choose to do. Email your questions to askdrphyllis at nursingsuccess.tv. Elizabeth Scala is a nurse entrepreneur committed to the holistic well-being of nurses. Today, she discusses the art of nursing, an event designed to help nurses rediscover their passion for and the joy in helping patients regain and maintain good health. I am a spiritual practice nurse, which I have a background in psychiatry and in health and wellness. I am a Reiki master. I have worked as a nurse for almost 10 years now and have been in multiple roles, but at this point find myself as a nurse entrepreneur. My goal and my mission in my company is really to help other nurses stay happy and healthy. This event is actually awesome and it's based on what I've been hearing and talking to nurse colleagues, nurses still at the bedside, nurses where I work. Um, people are talking about and really have, they've coined this phrase called click and pick nursing because we're always on the computer, we're documenting, we're charting in front of a computer screen and so nurses have um, told me that they've lost that healing touch, that, that human connection of, of connecting with the patient and having time to do that. So this event, The Art of Nursing, is all about bringing in that human feeling, that um, personalized connection that you're really present with the, with the people you serve. The most specific kind of feedback I've gotten was someone who said she went into work that week after, after going through it feeling like she could do anything, feeling excited about going back to her job, and feeling really connected with um, being a nurse with the profession. Find out more by visiting the website on the bottom of the screen. 
One Nurse's Success is brought to you by Mount Sinai Health System in New York City. Patricia, or Patty, Spuma has nearly 21 years of nursing experience. She's an expert in nursing informatics and is currently a nurse manager at Beth Israel Medical Center in New York City. A lifelong learner, Patty was the recipient of this past year's National Healthcare Career Network Scholarship. I always had that interest and that passion and I always felt that I needed to be a nurse. Like it was just part of who I was. So then after I had my children, I decided, you know, I wanted to go back to school and uh, become a nurse because it obviously was destiny. I was working in the ICU at um, Bayonne Hospital and they had just developed a radiology nurse program. So I was asked to interview for the position and I got it. So I was the first radiology nurse for Bayonne Medical, it's now Bayonne Medical Center. And um, it was exciting. Um, you know, I was integral in developing policy. Um, there was going to be a JACO survey coming up in a few months, so we were, um, I was administering moderate sedation. I, you know, just really established the nursing practice within the radiology department. And that's when I started to realize, and it wasn't a management position, it was just a brand new position. They didn't even know where it was going to go. And um, they sent me to a management class in Manhattan and it was like a lot of team building exercises and stuff. So it was almost like a revelation to be able to have an effect and to see your ideas like all come to fruition and to feel the pride in knowing that it was like a, a good program and it was successful led me into taking the next step. I find one of the most inspiring things about being in management is being a team leader and affording change and inspiring my staff and working together, I'm a very collaborative nurse manager. Um, I like everyone to have pride in their work and feel that they have a real vested interest in how we are perceived as a department. I'm a big fan of that saying, you know, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Like, that's one of my favorite sayings. And, you know, working in a hospital setting can be very demanding. Um, I'm in the ambulatory setting. And, you know, we're constantly changing and we're constantly modifying and we're constantly looking at ways to improve our care. And I like having a handle in that. And, um, you know, from the other side, you know, being part of a team of nurse managers and ambulatory is also very exciting. A lot of people think that, you know, when you get into management, you get away from the patients. I spend lots of time with the patients. I like being able to walk around and talk to patients if they need anything. I have an open door policy. So it's kind of like an all around nice way of taking care of people. Thanks for joining us today. And remember, we want to hear from you. Click the banner below this video player to share your comments on this episode and what you want to see on Nursing Success TV. We'll see you next time.